Hi, this is Andy Long from andrewlong.com. Today we are taking a look at version 2.0 of my Windows Phone 7 app, RGov Congress. Uh, we've recently updated this app, adding some new uh, functionality specifically for the upcoming Windows Phone 7.5 release, uh, otherwise known as Mango. Um, so once I've launched into RGov Congress, uh, by default what happens is the app uses your current location and it finds your senators and representative from the House of Representatives. So from this screen I can tap into any of these three uh, buttons, if you will, to view information for that senator or representative. I'm going to click on uh, Senator Claire McCaskill here. And it takes me over to an about page for her. I can view her uh, her office phone number, her website. I can click either of these. If I click the phone number, it's going to go ahead and prompt me to to call her office um, and click in view her website, 99 Mobile. Uh, also on this screen, it lists any committees that they are a member of. Uh, and as I scroll across this pivot, it's going to pull their Twitter feed if they use Twitter. Any recent news articles about that. Uh, legislator, recent floor appearances, recent votes that they've made, any bills that they have introduced or co-sponsored, and then we're back to their about screen. One new feature on the about page is the option to pin a representative to the start screen. So when I click here, it's going to create a new live tile for Senator McCaskill, and it is a dual sided live tile. So once this flips over on the back, you will see an excerpt from that uh, legislator's most recent Twitter feed if they're using Twitter, or the most recent news article that we found for them. So clicking this live tile is going to be a deep link back into the app and it's going to go directly to that senator or representative's uh, about page. I'm going to go back into the app the regular way. And then uh, you also have the option if you don't want to see your representatives you can click the search icon down at the bottom and you can enter a state abbreviation or a zip code to find the representatives from that state or zip code. So I can type in TX, click the search button, and it's going to pull back all the senators and representatives from Texas. And I can click down into any one of these and see all that same information that we looked at for Senator McCaskill. Back to the home screen, the other main new feature that we've added for uh, Windows Phone 7.5 is the view of recent congressional votes. So clicking this link is going to take me into this vote results page. I've got a drop down list where I can select either to view votes from the House or the Senate. And what, what this pulls is votes from the last 30 days. Uh, that's all the data that we have available to us. So we'll stay on the House and we will click down onto this first one here. It's going to show the, the bill number at the top, uh, title and a description, the vote type, the date and time, and the results. Uh, also at the bottom you can view a detailed breakdown of yes and no votes by party and total and uh, I think that's a really nice new feature to have. Uh, if we click over to Senate and we can see the Senate votes. Again the, the bill number and the description, the vote type, and the detailed results by party. So that is RGov Congress version 2.0. You can download that now from the Windows Phone 7 marketplace if you have a device running Windows Phone Mango. Uh, go check it out. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Andrew underscore Long. Thanks.